Oh, and look at that. What a sight to behold. Sock is bringing the hammer. Just like the Romans yeah, nice. when Jesus was nailed to the cross. Uh, that, that's actually quite offensive to me as a Christian man, uh, Neil. That's just um, facts. Well, is it facts? Don't, don't, that's like... Don't, don't appreciate that. That's the narrative. I didn't come up with that. Still, it is, it is a painful memory, as you must <laughs> yeah. certainly know. You were yeah. there? Well done. well done by me, by the way. Um, cast, cast a cursing this stream on the first map of the first match of the day, saying that MK should be pretty unlikely, and guess who it is? The Mountain King. Yeah, on this map, I feel like, especially with the rock column creep and such, uh, Watch Elementals obviously are a big help, and level 3 creep route for the Watch Elemental AM player can be really potent, but no, it's MK again. MK has a drawback, of course, early. A weak early game, can't creep so well, might find himself under a lot of pressure. But... If you get to level four, boy, oh boy, are you gonna have some fun. Yeah, I would have doubled down as so often on your statement that Mountain King seems to have fizzled out a little bit out of meta, and I haven't seen it in a while. But maybe that is exactly the reason why Sock is going for it. Fly probably coming in prepared, but can you be prepared for the force that is a Mountain King? Well, maybe you can. Attack on the Arcane Tower, that is hugely important for the safety. Stormbolt, first round attempt, glitches through. And the Arcane Tower is up on the cost of one lousy peasant. That's all right. Yeah, I've seen this Arcane Tower before. The weird thing is, he doesn't cover the right side, so the wolves can always harass here. I already thought back then this might not be the best placement for it. <laughs> uh, and yeah, now the wolves can be quite annoying indeed. Not a single ranged unit in Sock's army. So the fast wolves can really run circles around the human forces. And yeah, the more I see of this, the more I think to myself, this arcane needs a new architect. Hasn't been the best location scouting. Uh, yeah. Maybe you can swap over the workforce. Yep, to the left-hand side. Leaves the gold peasants a little on the tent. Oh, actually, that works out. So there's no leveling on the Mountain King happening due to the wolves fly with the Fastia staying far in the back to not get surrounded again. The momentum is shifting a little bit after a solid early game or early early game for Sock. Fly is checking a couple of boxes on his checklist as well and if there's no level 2, Mountain King ain't that scary. And the Mountain King of course, unlike the Archmage, will have to play on two bases, can't do this one base only. So Fly now gonna look for his pressure moment. MK calling lots of militia. This expansion should work out. It's not a very difficult expansion to creep, but it's not enough for level three either. And Fly trying to get in as much damage here as he can. How much? How many can he get? Stormbolt, of course, always a great weapon against headhunters when you don't care about them too much. Oh. There we go. Stole it, the big one. Ooh. Last hit stolen. Oh, damn. That's a huge deal. MK's gonna have a really difficult time now getting to level 3. He's getting some headhunters. That makes up for a bit of XP. This item, of course, not one of the bigger ones. Damage on fly side still good. Dude, Sock is losing a lot of workers. Yeah, this is a really good early game for fly. If he can get level 2 here before retreating on home, this would be perfect. But mana is now low. Not too many headhunters are left. Parsi also needs to be careful. And the expansion has been nicely delayed. At five minutes it's coming up, and the TC is already halfway finished. This, I think, is looking great for Fly. Going Raider Walkers. Not going for the double beast tree. Not going for the in or the, the, the snipe attempted by the mass raiders. But also, once walkers are out, they're gonna be so strong with magic damage and spirit link. Right on, magic damage against footmen, wonderful. Mountain King's biggest threat is the single target damage with Stormbolt. Spirit link distributes that damage, makes it weaker on a single target, and gives it a little bit of an AoE, but you can heal against that relatively safely. TC is coming out as well, and Fly once again a positive surprise in this tournament. Yeah, absolutely. Sock has a bit of time here. The Orc army isn't quite ready yet, but once we have two raiders, two walkers with upgrades, the tier 2 Orc army is extremely, extremely strong. MK does get level 3, just in time. A ring as well for him. Not too many items at all, really. 
And the Orc army is passing by him. He's not seeing it. Is the Arcane Tower done yet? No, it's not. If this one gets cancelled... Oh, that's a big problem. Sneaky, sneaky fly sock. Not with his, uh, with, with his eyes wide open. Another peasant falling as well. Tech hasn't started at 6 minutes 30. And the suffering for the economy isn't over yet. Ay, yay, yay. At least the MK is level 3 and the comeback potential for that is quite strong as Fly is only level 1, but he didn't creep a single cam and he's close to chain lightning already. Is a rough position still for Suck. Did the Farsi get his clarity cancelled by accident? It kind of looks like it. Ideally you want to have a lot of mana here. Once the TC is level 2, you get some items from the middle, then you want to fight and keep fighting, keep fighting. With Spirit Link, with Ensnare, you can trade extremely favorably, summon more wolves, get level 3, summon even more wolves, and force the human into submission. The fact that the Farsi is low mana here is kind of a big problem, honestly. Fly can't pressure on too easily, perhaps, which is a shame because there's still no towers up. Fly falls back, creeps natural, and might just be thinking about a counter expansion. All right, tier two has started at seven minutes 30. It's like 75 seconds of a delay. That's a lot of time if you're playing against a rather fast tech on fly side. Wolves gave the Mountain King a bit of XP. That helped Heal Scroll available early as well against Chain Lightning and Shockwave. That's a quite a big investment very early on. Yeah, he's got the gold though. I guess the Lumber was holding him back. As we can see, the tech for him is quite late indeed. But now he's got the scroll, probably going to go for an invuln as well. Finds a Pendant of Energy. Ooh, this could be really good with mana potions later. And speaking of mana potions, Soxa doesn't have a shop yet. Right. It seems very weird, very late. Normally with an MK, you need that shop to keep on spamming those clarities. It's the only source of mana regeneration unless there's an Archmage later or even a Blood Mage. And all right, he's trying to go into rifles with that blacksmith. Shockwave hits quite a bit, actually. But as we said, there is a heal scroll against that militia called once again. Man, they have a busy day today. Here comes the first walker. Seems a bit late almost. Shouldn't that have been earlier? Spurling on the TC, protecting him now. Scroll of the Beast could be activated here for possibly a slaughter. But the MK, Ooh. I mean, the TC is still hurt. Very low HP now. Can't be saved. Fly with a big mistake. Loses the second hero. That's a four for the Mountain King, no less. It's going to get another kill. Oh, mispositioning here by Fly. And maybe not the right army either. Not enough front line for him, perhaps. And the walker was a bit late. Normally, these fights should be getting owned by the orc. Sok just managed a wonderful comeback and probably claims the lead with this little defense here. Looking good, looking good. As we said, uh, Mountain King... Oh, there is a shop, by the way. He has the clarities. The comeback potential with the Mountain King, and I would say especially versus Fly, is incredibly high. And this is exactly what we're seeing here. But on the flip side, it was only level 2. Relatively cheap uh, to get it back. And Fly's expansion is done on the back of this attack as well. Farsi did get level 3 at long last. Very important level up for him, but again, what I mentioned earlier, look at his mana. He's low mana all the time. I think he mismanaged his clarities. We didn't see a single chain lightning this game, right? It's all just been wolves, and still he's completely out of mana now. This is going to be the last round of wolves for a long time. And Shockwave is kind of decent, of course, but it was only level 1. You need the follow-up, and then there was also a heal scroll against it. Now, with access to potions, even though the shop is about to fall, he can continue throwing the hammers. Every hammer is usually a kill, unless your name is Hawk. Um... Fly is still doing some damage, prevents breakers, but this is a more than even situation for Sock now. By the way, these last two or three minutes, this is the main reason why MK can be really good. Imagine if you have just a couple of footmen and Archmage, level 3 or level 4 defending. There is no way he's going to have the same impact. No. Nope. With the MK clap, I mean the Stormbolt and the Bash, also just good right click, good front line. The MK provides way, way more if you can finally get the expansion up, if you can get through the dangerous early game, if you can finally have an Expo standing with level 3 or 4, this is where the MK will shine. And of course, he's got great scaling later on. Level 5 is going to be amazing for him, retrain is going to be amazing. Level 6, if ever you get there, is unbelievable. And yeah, MK, I, I can see it, man. I can see the temptation for humans to get there if you can survive the early game. He just seems like the way better hero. I think Sock doesn't really care about what's good or bad. It's just uh, thematically fitting for this map. 
Hammerfall. Right. Does, does that mean that on Northern Isles we're gonna get a frozen hero? Well, you can't. Like, Archmage is kind of an icy hero, isn't he? Okay. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold you to it. Northern Isles. <laughs> Let's see if it has to be an art mage. Or Naga first. Blizzard, you never know. Blizzard first, then, right? Um. Fits thematically, doesn't it? That's, that's, that's your guess. So, <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> you should send him a message. Maybe, maybe he's gonna listen to you in one of the biggest tournaments of the of the season. You know, I was begging for humans to play uh, Triple Hero versus Night Elf with Alchemist Panda for a long time. Um, he did that rarely. I must admit the success rate hasn't looked too impressive. <laughs> but uh, maybe we can convince him about the Blizzard first. It is Blizzard first here on the Archmage, after all. Not even Aura. Seems to feel secure that he's going to get level 2. Oh, and the next two level ups are going to be big for Sock. He's going to get Clap 3, as he just retrained. And Aura. This game is looking better and better for Sock indeed. Fly, I think, needs to get a favorable fight going really, really soon. Of course, there's no Shadow Hunter for Heal Wave, so this AoE is pretty, pretty, pretty good now. We have one Heal Scroll for the sustain. Mountain King inches away from five. Book of the Dead, not the greatest find, but he's poking at the expo. Fly finds a creep jack. There is a town portal on this Archmage. How much damage can he do? One priest, I guess. That's about it. But level two acquired, and that is now Brilliant Sora. More mana, more AOE, more damage, more good. Yeah, and 4.9 on the MK. That's the big story here. He's gonna have quite the dangerous hammer. Bazooka in his hand. Supply-wise, though, we're seeing both players very even. Fly here with a slight lead. He's going to get the items at the shop as well. Those items, of course, hugely important, both invuln and heal scroll. And with both expansions here being on the bottom left side, sort of, this shop in between is going to be extremely important. And the other shop is going to be so hard to get to. They might not ever have the time to get there. And uh, these orc here are also getting strong. Double level four, probably going to be reached soon. Double level five. Very, very dangerous. Really like the investment to the heal scroll. Scroll of the beast, not to be underestimated either. Dashing through the mana before the human arrives. Speed scroll is available. Can't speed scroll away from that mountain king here, though. In a straight up fight, I still don't see the biggest chances for fly due to all that AoE and just having a better fighting army. And now, mountain king is off the leash. Level 5. Good luck, but chain lightning shockwave. Counted by a heal scroll, mostly, very little kills, and when there's no mana anymore, what's Fly going to do? Yeah, he has to back off. He's got a heal scroll, but I think that one is not going to save the fight for him. He may have to TP out here. They're exactly right on the money. It's not about the mana. Once the TC and the fast here are dry, which now they are, the damage threat is a lot lower. But then again, at the same time, Sock also low on supply, but the MK is still alive. Use the mana potion with the pendant, the clap, the blizzard is doing tremendous work. Beautiful escape by Fly, though. So much stuff hurt. Oh my god, it's gonna need like 20 heal cells to heal <laughs> everything up. But this was a really good trade, it turns out, for Fly, and now he got the double level four. It was way better than expected, and he found the perfect moment to get out. One more clap, and this entire army would have been dead. Yeah. It is, of course, also time to recover mana for the Mountain King. Uh, Archmage didn't level too much, to be honest. Lots of units dead, but the sustain and recovery potential for the humans is usually a little better. But Fly is getting sharp access again for the double heal scroll. Very much yeah. like that. I like it a lot. If they had kept each other busy here between the two expansions, you would never get to the shop. But after the TP, Fly realizing he can get over there, get these important items. Crucially important items. This really was a wonderful fight for Fly. If he can take one or two more fights like that, he might get double level five. And then everything is still on the table. For the next fight, MK is going to start off with level five right away. And Fly has no TP. His second base is under attack. Clap, Blizzard. Peon's gone. No more work work. More like dead dead. And that's an easy TP because you can afford it. No losses, despite the shockwave chain lightning. There was some mana uh, burned that can easily be recovered by a region scroll. Did the sorceress die at home? The sorceress died at home. Appar according to the superior Chinese overlay, the sorceress did indeed die at home. Lightning follows you across the map. Zip zap. 
And this is a very nice first game that the two are showing here. Very even. Going back and forth with Fly taking the lead at the very beginning of the game with a sick last hit. But then Sock having a strong recovery with a TC kill. And now Fly, I would say, a little bit favored again after killing so much supply earlier and saving all of his units. And the double level 5. That's what I'm looking for. He wants to have the clarities running now on Farsi and TC. Get full mana already. Keep creeping. Keep fighting. And if he enters a fight double level 5 with full mana, that is insane damage output against everything but breakers. There's a little bit of an issue for Fly at the moment because he's supply blocked and 62. Can't even rebuild the entire Peon line. So this might be Sock's moment, even though his supply is rather low. He can get up to 65 in no time. Archmage level 3 would be uh, a great, great help. Doesn't really matter what he skills, it's gonna be sweet. Mountain King in a dangerous position. Is that really worth it? I guess it always is. I guess it always so is. <laughs> he's got an invul. So he's he's got a safety button. Oh, the clap blizzard. Oh my god, insane damage. Wow, sick blizzard play. Sick invis blizzard play. How much damage was that just in like the span of 10 seconds? <laughs> That's a good question, man. That's a very good question. Thank you, Knopf for raiding us hope you had a wonderful stream hope you have a wonderful easter holiday and hopefully you and the boys get tickets tomorrow for our land there can't be three german lands without the swedes you guys better show up yeah first here again on the other shop trying to get a heal scrolls again we see how important aoe healing will be against the aoe damage both have aoe spells both have Heal scrolls. Seems like the meta here clearly visible with the AOE being such, such high impact. MK losing lots of mana here though. Attacking into the peons once again, Blizzard and Clap. Now he's kind of low mana. This could be a decent fight maybe for Fly. He's charging in. He's got way higher mana. Shockwave right away, waiting for the chain lightning. And this is a bad position, as you can see. Sark is caught out far in the open. He's gonna have to TP on home. And wait, where do we see how much he lost? Uh, next to the clock, the grayed out icons. Wait, did he lose some units there? He didn't. Was that really a perfect escape? That was pretty sick then. That is one By of the, the way, aren't yeah. those new pop-ups in Doyu amazing? Oh, so <laughs> Gotta make that at money, you know, or whatever that is. You know, yeah. if, you know that they, they had like 15 pop-ups already and they were like, you know what, guys? <laughs> In a meeting on a Monday, they were like, you know what would be amazing? Bro, more pop-ups. And everyone's like, yeah, dude, let's do it. Guys, let's we have... Pop-up number 16 going. Exactly. We have 100 pixels left at the top mid. There we go. It seems like Sock is taking more and more control of this game. He's building a huge army. He has built a huge army now. More and more breakers as well. 1-1 one, one upgrades, not bad at all. And Fly's focus might be shifting more towards building elimination. He does have Shockwave. He does have Pillage. This is where his strength lies with his Orc army now in the very late game. And this might be an expansion trip. So aesthetically pleasing, these two rows of army for Sock. Great Hall and down. Can Fly reach the Town Hall even? Not really. There was some very, very good Sim City. Mountain King, sweet! Oh, that positioning is so grand. Chain Lightning, Shockwave hits a lot, but the Heal Scroll was there to counter it. Mountain King still has a potion. Blizzard is raining down on Fly's army. Shockwave, Chain Lightning, AoE everywhere. But there's no more Heal Scroll now. This is the fight for the map, and it's looking so good for Sock. Smack, bang, this MK has taken no prisoners. TC might be going down a second time. Invuln, I guess, could save him, but the Orc army has vanished. The expansion is gone, and this game is certainly over. Fly looking for a bit of a moral victory here, getting some kills in the end, but GG it is. And a closely fought game goes to Sock on map one. Sub-Zero Fatality right there. Looking good, looking good. The early game was uh, quite bad, I gotta say, for the Sockster, but Fly again, giving his opponent an opening by losing a hero. How many years, how many times, some things never change. <laughs> like, it seems like it is such an obvious and overused meme that, you know, at some point it has to stop working. At least for like a month, maybe. Nope. 
Oh, but it's like every day. <laughs> every day he plays, this happens. And yeah, this was really the big moment when he gave away the lead. That tier two timing is supposed to be where the orc is dominant. Now, credit also to Sock. He had very good counterplay against the tier two uh, pressure point. He got the heal scroll, very importantly, and it perfect militia timing ready. And the MK was in the right spot. MK here really showing his strength with Bath, with Bash, with tanking, with, of course, the Stormbolt. Um, but yeah, that TC was out of position. And I would say there were also one or two grunts missing. When you see a Mountain King, you want to be low, low on the Headhunter count. Um, I think there also Fly may have been a bit too high. Some small mistakes by Fly, but in the end, still very close, very tightly fought. Exactly. And that uh, sh cannot, should not be expected from Fly. He was always around, but really not that scary. And he shows that he can hang with the top players, at least the top eight or so. Thumbs up for Flight's performance here, winning his group, which was arguably an easier-ish group in the round of 16, but then a good performance versus Happy, a solid performance versus Colorful, and here as well. Could have uh, won this with this early game. Now, the big question where the series is going. We go on to Tidehunters. Um, when it comes to thematically fitting heroes, what could Tidehunter represent? Which hero looks like he would be most likely to be on vacation? Because uh, <laughs> this is where the weather is very pleasant, there's a lot of beaches, there is tropical island flavor all around. Who That's is a, a jolly, uh, jolly hero ready for vacation? I can I can imagine the 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 pit lord in the Borat uh, string on the beach. The pit lord. <laughs> yeah, he looks like a Dude, sun. The pit lord is the least vacation uh, mood hero ever. What? He's always like he's super edgy. He's like, I what does he even say? I crush your soul or something like that. I come from the death of the pit. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's when he's at the, the beach, he's just, he's just you know, shoveling sand to the side, digging a little bit. That's what he does when he's uh, on vacation. Okay, he does have kind of a shovel, mm -hmm. sort of. See, he could build a little sand castle. With Here we go. Sand castles in the sand castles in the sand. <laughs> yeah, it's it's definitely not a tinker. If that guy and the pocket factory are going to the oh beach, sand is going to stick everywhere. No, 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 that's not good. Naga sand is rough and coarse. It's not good. Right. Naga, I mean, she can swim and all, but she doesn't look like she's ever in vacation mood. It's very stern. Yeah. Well, Panda, I guess. Panda, he's, definitely. Panda is, Panda is jumping out of the tavern with a sangria glass yep. still in his hand. Yep. I guess he's more he of a Mallorca kind of dude, though. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say. He's like, wait, <laughs> this isn't the Mediterranean. Where's Ibiza? <laughs> yeah, I guess Panda. Panda is always in a mood. He could also be up for some Apreshi. Oh, Fly. Yeah. Fly has to leave. Oh, my God. Emergency. Oh. More time for us, then. Is there a cat somewhere? Maybe he ordered some food and it just arrived. He was hoping that he would have won this series already. Um, miscalculate a little <laughs> bit, perhaps. That has happened to me before as well. When, uh, I think it was two years ago or something. We were on the last map of a series. I ordered something because I was so hungry. And I was like, okay, this should be arriving perfectly in time. And then the map lasted for like 35 minutes. <laughs> oh. got kind of ah, pizza yeah. getting cold. Aye, aye, aye. Well, maybe you should switch to HelloFresh and just do it yourself. That sounds like a wonderful idea. It would be difficult to do during the cast, though, but after the cast, what a treat it is. All right, guys, uh, enough clowning around. We do have a game here after all. Okay. It's, of course, Archmage first this time, bringing the uh, frosty magic to the sunlit gardens. And no expansion this time, by the way, despite Titan is being such a good map, normally fast expo, no soccer playing, a one base tech going to tier two on two farms only, the exact opposite of a fast expansion. This is the fastest tech possible for the human and can lead to quick casters and a very quick Mountain King as well. I think this is the biggest upside of this build, very quick MK and then you have kill threat with Stormbolt. 
The downside is you can sometimes be stuck on level 1 forever. But look at that, Sock gets the green camp that fly. Maybe giving him a bit too easy. Mm -hmm. That's instant level 2. Blacksmith is coming. We've seen Fortitude here with some crazy fast pushes on this map. Wonder if Sock is emulating that to a degree. But so far, Creepcraft, Fly knows that human players like Sock and Leon love to go for the Murloc camp, love to creep the level 3 here, and then go for the Burrow. So this is super important. Fly gets the first one. Sock gets the second one. Kinda even Steven. Yeah, I like the adjustment here by Fly. Oh. If he's letting the Archmage uh, get the level up, at least he's gonna also get the level up himself. Oh, and we get something as well. Yo! 25 gifted subs by Tam Goose! My dude, you seem to be enjoying the cast a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Easter Bunny, for that precious little gift to us in the community. Thank you, Tam Goose. If you want to have some eggs hidden by me, hit me up with a contribution <laughs> like that. Thank you very much indeed. Dude, my friends have been asking me, yo, when are you gonna go south to visit your family on Easter? I'm like, this is my family on Easter, bro. What is this? You think this is the Middle Ages? I don't care about Easter. And we got our family here in the chat. But are you visiting your family for Easter? I know Neo isn't. Neo's is probably still not allowed to come home after what happened at Christmas. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm not going home, you know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe maybe next Christmas they, got, they will have forgiven you, you know. I don't oh, think Archimage, so, man. The they way, didn't even invite. Looking for a seal here. But great leveling on the first year. Super quick level three. This is looking wonderful for Fly, picking up lots of small creep camps. This is looking like the early Farseer Headhunter days. You get out a couple of Headhunters, you can creep super fast, you level crazy with a Farseer. This is going to be a very high level Farseer this game. I would be pretty sure he's going to get level 4. Would love to see him heavily supply with Clarities. We have a damage meter in this overlay here. Keep an eye on the Farseer, this could get very high this game. 2300 at the moment, that's right. Dude, such a fast level 3 opens up the entire map for you, accelerates creeping. The item's probably not the greatest, but lots of vision. That is sweet. And now waiting for the TC, waiting for the human units. This time we get Shaman instead of Walkers as the biggest threat is basically Water Elementals. And, you know, there are Water Elementals now, so having the spell against them is good. And Sock has to take a step back, going to the lab to make up for the XP that he didn't get in the early game. item here for him will be the rune racers not very useful against these orc heroes although they do have some spell damage normally the hero is not really the target for it and look at the pressure wolves are putting on him dude this is so so strong fly with one hell of an early game here on map number two showing us why this is his map yeah it looks like are we sure that the same fly came back after that little break maybe he has a clone Or maybe he just got energized by uh, the food delivery. I wonder what it was. But well, he has two kids. Maybe uh, something happened there. We'll see about that. Archmage heard big mana potion though can uh, enable a couple of plays. Flies expansion at like one third. Shop is coming very very late. He was he didn't really need that up until now for the clarities. Army supply looking fine, fly maybe lacking a little bit of lumber, but upgrades, wait, no upgrades yet, okay, so lumber is an issue after all, but more creeping and TC is making strides towards level 3. So creeping here in the south, getting level 3, MK of course, crucial importance, didn't go bash by the way, it's uh, clap Stormbolt, when we see a rifle play, oftentimes it's bash instead, look for single target kills, with uh, Stormbolt, right clicks, bash, and so on. Creeping here with Militia. What if he's gonna try to expand? Most humans, when they face an orc expansion, don't try to expand. They feel like it's not gonna work out timing wise. Instead, they're gonna have to go for an attack. And okay, that is what Sock is doing. He's calling back the boys. Lots of gold on Sock, by the way. Could go into upkeep. And the AM was trying to get items from the shop. But very well done by Fly. He ensured the items went to his side. He's growing in and gonna be so important. 
Thank you very much, uh, Derothian, for continuing the sub you got from Brick Ball. Level 3 around the corner now. Oh, and it has been achieved. Fly with a super early invis potion. Under if you can cause some trouble there. Archmage mana isn't the greatest at all. Heal scroll, invul, ready. Mana worries me a little on the fast here. Oh, sick oh, that reveal! Damn, dude. Spidey senses tingling. That's such a big deal. TC revealed right away. Can he stop the push though? Militia here to support this. More hammers. TC needs some support. He got that in form of a healing potion. Expo didn't pay off at all. It's only one peon. No fortification. And he blocks the path. Oh, that's so smart. TC trying to get a connection in. But how do you connect now? How do you get the Grunts and Raiders through? Both front lines, by the way, don't have a ring of protection. They're both kind of squishy. MK, if he can survive, he's got so much mana to blast through. The clap might win this fight by itself. But there is a way to win this fight for Fly if he kills the Mountain King. Can he do it though? The TC's hurt already, looking for the perfect storm. The Watch Elemental's just getting dispelled all the time. And now the shop is up. And now we can go for potions. This push is looking good for some. Oh man, how does he always find the way out? Clap and stomp, man. This matchup with the AoE is a beauty to behold. But this TC has to TP out. But what about the fast here? One hero is probably gonna die. Here comes the clap. TC dies again. The entire army of Fly is bent and bruised. And Expo goes down. Very, very well done. The MK here, once again, showing what he's made of, showing the potential of this Dwarven hero. It was MK first on game one, MK second here. Certainly blessed by items, of course. Uh, one of mana ceiling and mana potion. He had so much mana he could spam. He was just throwing out Stormbolt and Clap all day here. Sock certainly blessed with the RNG, but sometimes that is uh, what you need, I guess. And this expansion will certainly be going down. Can Fly hope to stabilize on one base? That's the question. Man, we are also blessed by our wonderful, wonderful community. Thank you, Kefa Lucas, for the eight month resub. Van Hammy with the three month. My favorite way to start my morning. And the second donation of the week by WC3L Happy. 39 euros. Sending you my entry fee for Rara Land, which I can't attend, by the way, because you just pre pwned the event without asking me. Happy Easter. I love you. All the best to the family, Happy. I'm very sorry that the event doesn't fit into your summer vacation. Happens. I'll miss you. Just uh, pretend that you're sick to your family and come to us anyway. Exactly. We're a better family, bro. Who needs Some beaches models. anyway? Uh, the MK is enjoying the beach here on Tidehunters. I can tell you that much. You got a. Almost level 4. Raider actually got denied here. Level 4 heroes all across the board, except for the MK, uh, except for the TC, excuse me, who's still dead. But now it's the MK show once again. In a drawn out fight, the human will always come out on top normally, but with the TC returning, it's getting a bit too hairy. And so it's gonna TP out. Supply is, in fact, still quite even. But the longer the game goes, normally the more and more dangerous the MK will become, as we've now seen a number of times. Whew. Fly still fighting, but what is the way out? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be rough. Maybe hope for an exposed Archmage, but then there's also this very early Sorceress Adept upgrade, which I really, really like. A little bit of uh, uh, Chemico flavor in Sock's mix. And this MK is just... Is he just gonna destroy everything again? Yeah, we got also for him, by the way. Really nice. Gonna be even harder to bring down. Fly once again won the race to the shop. So he got the uh, heal scroll in Invuln once more. And Sock's army has shrunk a bit. Sock has taken some losses. But the MK keeps improving, keeps getting stronger. TC though, big mana potion. Lady Luck kisses the other cheek now. That could be a way. Normal mana potion as well. We're gonna see a lot of chain lightning. Oh my god, so much mana. Yep. So many mana items. Yep. Everywhere. Mountain King also caught. He has a ring of regeneration, but apart from that, no invul needs an invis probably. Stop! And he gets that kill! Oh my god, fly! Finding a way back in the game in the series. Yep. Big mistake here by Sock not having the mana, I guess, for the sorceress. Um he thought he would be able to get away. He had the boots, but he was slowed. 
slowed by the darn creeps. That's how a game can absolutely turn around. Fly now seems to have all the map control in the world. If he was tier 3, oh, how he would love to throw down a tiny. That, of course, he is not, though. But that was good experience for him as well. And at this point, it looks like, looks like we're getting uh, double level 5 orb curious. Quite exciting indeed. We're also on a hype train, by the way. 14% away from level 6. Get him in. Choo choo. Archmage providing lots of mana. Mountain King mana. Stone and mana potion is quite sick and scary. Fly, what's he doing with the advantage of getting that MK off the board? No expo. Little bit of map control in the middle for items and stuff. He needs an absurd amount of heal scrolls against that Mountain King inventory. He could just push into the human base right now. Force a fight right now while the MK is dead. Sock should probably try to be very passive at this point. Invo potion and double heal scroll for Fly. Man, how one hero kill can change everything. Fly checking the north, sees no expansion, going to the red camp. I think that's a bit of a strategic mistake. Shouldn't he just be forcing the fight right now? He could have forced the fight half a minute ago already when the MK was dead. Okay, but he's going for the creep camp instead. This is good experience after all. True, and possibly a great item. Orc always struggles with passive mana regeneration because they have none. So Brilliance Aura would be a great. This item though, little unlucky, can trade it in for a heal scroll and an invul. Always worth something. No cement upgrade. Water Elemental might do a little bit here. But yeah, this is late game territory. Is there a way to creep this Mountain King to five? Not really, right? It's only one orange available. And that's on the opposite side of the map. I just think we keep on brawling. Up here in the north is a great fighting position for the human though, because it's very narrow. Around the marketplace and towards the expansion, everything here is super tight. We can see Fly backing off. This is absolutely not the place on the map where he wants to fight more towards the tavern, where it's more open. He will be inviting Sock to a dance. But yeah, positioning here is going to be really, really important. TC again with the invis, by the way. And again, Fly! <laughs> Wow, he wanted to stop that stomp, but couldn't just a hair too late. Mountain King getting controlled now with Ensnare. TC has an Invo Potion, can stomp away, trying to find the backline. Needs that Invo Potion soon. Massive stomp once again, holding on to that potion for a long time. On the other side of the fight, the Mountain King is destroying a lot. Oh, wow. Do we see the mana cooldown now? On the heroes? Yes, we do. The mana potion cooldown. That's a new adjustment for this overlay, because it didn't have enough information yet. That's a potion gone. That's a TC5, though, and a Fasia just an inch away. Yeah, not too many units died, really. It was one rifle and one shaman, one headhunter. A bunch of items were uh, used up. Lots of mana as well on the orc side. Oh, Koda Beast! That's a big grab right there. If he can get it, there's a rifleman still in the stomach, but the Kodo should be able to get away. Sox army here is looking rather small at the moment. TC, though, in trouble. No rings again, mind you. In bull. Here we go. Stomp of the Mountain King, but Invis cast this time nice. in time. Oh, boy. This is going to be a bit problematic. Level 5 on the fast. He needs to dash out those 1,000 damage chain lightnings, and he does. Mountain King is back. Clap is in. TC, stop, stop! What? Oh, sick! What? Boy! What a sick no fight this is! MK survives, TC survives on nothing HP, and Fly pressing forward. Archmage Super Hurt as well, he's got the heal potion, gonna have to use it. MK has no mana left, the Chain Lightning is doing insane damage, and I think Fly has enough to just chew through here in the end. Farseer is losing the charge as far as damage goes, 16,000 damage on this Farseer. <laughs> And Sock falls back to the shop once again, though, and will heal up. Whew, that was almost game-ending right there. Oh, man, what a sick fight. These two late-game fights, man. That's what they're made of. The claps, amazing. The storms right there. The storm bolt, just perfect timings most of the time. Can they just fight forever, please? The thing is, Fly always is able to force Sock back, and then he gets the items from the shop. Once again, he got the heal scroll and invuln, but it looks like uh, Sock is not too concerned with that. Still out on the map, ready to creep up a bit more. If he just gets two more level ups, which he's so close to, it's going to be a huge upgrade for him. Oh, Archmage going to the tavern. Is he invis? 
Oh, I certainly hope so. No, he's not! Oh, he's not. oh, Sock, what are you doing? Well, what? first he's cosplaying Sub-Zero, now he's cosplaying Fly. Oh. What a huge mistake. I guess my wish that they fight forever, not granted. He had the mana for Invis. Turns out that there was actually a central board in the middle. He would have been seen anyways, Ooh. but I guess he didn't know that really. MK has to do it all by himself. No, he doesn't have an invul, and I think he might just be dead. Stomp, right clicks, he is revealed and dead. And GG is called. Sick game, sick comeback by Fly. Showing off once again another series where he is taking a map. He took a map off of Happy, he takes a map off of Sock, and Remo, um, we're down to a best of three. Yeah, absolutely. Very different kind of a game. One base, one base instead of two base, two base this time around. But again, kind of decided by hero losses, right? The yeah. big hero kills, the big impact kills kind of decide this game. If there's just one more heat scroll or one more inborn going to Sock, he might win this game. Shows you how important that shop was and how smart of a map pick this was for Fly. But the next map pick, which is perhaps the craziest one, is Sock's and that's Lost Temple. Ooh, baby. What will we see here? I have no clue what the meta is in Human Orc on Lost Temple. Always a bit decided by starting positions, of course. Is it close? Is it not? Um, I just want to see super ultra mega late game. Yeah, this uh, can be the right, right map for it, especially if we spawn cross position. Sok is certainly gambling here. If he's spawning close position to Fly's nat, or Fly's main base, this is gonna be difficult. If the Farseer harass early on works out really well, then this could be very painful. So it's a 33% chance of disaster, 67% chance, 67 <laughs> chance of a very easy expansion. So let's roll those dice. I'm hyped for it, man. I want a 40 minute classic here, but we all know Lost Temple is always decided by the fountain, so nothing else matters. It's amazing how this has, like, uh, been falsified, like, three times the last two months, and you keep refusing to acknowledge it. That never happened. I don't know what you're talking about. You're lying. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Just absolutely, it's just straight up lie by Remo Demo here. Don't, don't trust this guy. <coughs> Fake news back to Warcraft. That is what they call us. Yo, even more subs and support coming in. Creasy Meesy with the resubs. Says, I'll sub and give you my Royal Land ticket deal. No. You give me a Royal <laughs> Yeah, like the, other, the, other, way the other way around. See, another lie straight up. No, no, no. We, we corrected it. And Sturmgeweiter with the 20 euro donation says, cheers. And Nuhiro Masuda, our dear observer for the big tournaments as well with the resub. Guys, thank you so much. Very, very much indeed. About Royal Land tickets, that's going to be tomorrow, of course. Tomorrow at 6 p.m. CET. You want to be there right away and be quick before the tickets are sold out. Tomorrow, 6 p.m. CET. That's right. There's a lot of information on the Discord, on the socials. Every day at 6 p.m. we post a little bit of information, so get in there. You don't want to be late to that. I'll be here with Benny uh, broadcasting the ticket sale. Should be, I guess, five-minute work and then... It's hopefully gone, but there's only one wave this year, everybody. No second chance. Get him or stay at home. We are not staying at home. We are going onto Lost Temple. All right, here we go. The third map winner will take the league lead and move on to match point. It is close position, but not in a unfavorable way to Sock. It's the orc expansion between the two mains, not the human expansion. So Sock dodges the bullet, didn't get unlucky, and that should mean a pretty easy expansion for him. Wonder who the people are rooting for. Sock was a fan favorite at Rara 1. Everybody who can beat Happy is a fan favorite at this point, I think. Um, but Fly also, legend of this game, always creating great moments. Chat. Let us know. Soccer fly. Archmage first has to be the pick here on this map. Mountain King, we saw how strong he can be on the right map if he gets the levels, but Lost Temple 
It's a very interesting map in that it's very big, lots of creeps, but very far spread out. As easy as it is to expand, it is extremely hard to creep level 3. Might be the most difficult map to creep level 3 on, because you get level 2 right away, sure, but then after that you need a lot of green camps to get your way to level 3, unless you get kills, unit kills, on the other side. So, a grunt surround, for example, could be a game-winning move here for Sok, that Fly must try to avoid. Fly must try. I like. Shout out to the person who just ordered uh, Hello Fresh. Lovely to see. The more sales we generate, the more likely it is that we get more sponsorships in the future, which is incredibly helpful uh, for the for the channel. So shout out to anonymous person. Hope you enjoy it. So Fly, of course, scouting into a nice direction. Um, only a peon went down, and here we go. Early harass, just like on Tide Hunters. Yeah, Fly didn't scout to the uh, easy harass position, by the way. Didn't scout on the right. If Sock had spawned on the right, Fly wouldn't have even figured it out. Isn't that weird? Maybe he on the left. thinks that um, if you're not there, I can go to the top and send a wolf to the right and then it might still work anyway maybe he was just lucky and that is quite a few workers going down but also grunt that was sweetly surrounded by peasants oh i mentioned it earlier this experience is such a big deal Ooh, i think that's a pretty big mistake getting two peasant kills though certainly slows down the lumber a lot this expansion will be late but the tower should be finishing soon no risk of a Mountain King hammer just yet. Wolf's still hungry. So far it's not attacking though. Now it is. Splits. Save into the mine. Saves nice. both. Well done. Very good play so far for Sark. He's got the resources now for the expansion. That grunt kill is such a big deal, man. This limits the potential aggressively a lot for Fly. And I'm telling you. Oh, peasant block? No way. Can you save those two peasants? No! Oh, again in the mine! Dude, what the sock was beautifully play. precise, almost perfect play here at the start. Very well done. Okay, where is this going then? Expansion. What elements can the character Gara in Naruto freely control? That's a good question. You know, I'm a big Naruto weeaboo, but that question has been stumped. I gotta say, I did not watch it. I never saw Naruto. <laughs> Dude, why aren't you closing the panel? <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. I did not. I did not. I wow. I I got a filter on my eyes. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I actually never watched Naruto either. I tried to get into Avatar: The Last Airbender, and it's it's pretty cute. It's, it does seem rather uh, targeted at children. I love that so much. That series. Thank you. Expanding plan. Subbing at the right time with a two-month three sub here as we have a fast expansion. Saying, I usually watch you guys in the mornings. Went to Japan last week and ended up watching you during my nights too. Love you. Ooh, it's so lovely. To hear that we follow you across the world like a psychopathic stalker. Who? <laughs> 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 And here, more and more peasants are falling. Yeah, he's yeah. getting some. The guns have worked out very well. And this is ending up to be a lot of peasant kills. Tekka has now started at 5.30. And TC and Raiders will soon be on the way. Another grunt almost getting surrounded. Is getting surrounded. Damn. It's two grunts dying. Even without Stormbolt. Sick. What? This is like a pretty crazy back and forth. Like, of course... Fly losing two grunts here isn't that ideal. Archmage isn't level three though, even though I can get it on the way to the temple. Fly did some economy damage and you see that in Lumber, even though we get the upgrade now and the tech is running. I, this is still everybody's game. You hey, a nice boost here. Quick level 3 is going to be really good against the Raiders. The ideal scenario for the Orc is to keep the human contained and never ever allow him level 3 and force the AM to be a pretty weak force for the rest of the game. But the AM is going to get the level 3 here, going to get the next item as well. 
And now we are counting the seconds. Once Sok has the casters, once the priests and Sorks are out, this game will pretty much be over. Fly has to win before. Yeah. Double claws, man. Such a great item. Another surround, maybe with the help of the creeps. Oh no, Fly so unlucky. Great oh blocks by Sock, Regrunts. though. Dude. It's 900. It's nice Fly. That's 600 gold coins. That's right. That's also a lot of experience as you were pointing towards pretty much the entire game. Okay, that was rough. Not to take all the excitement out of the game, which a caster should never do, but this is looking very, very difficult now for Fly. How the hell is he supposed to win this game? How on he has Earth? a glimmer of hope right now. Fashi level 3 is indeed very good. The level 2 wolves, early on tier 2, very strong, but every second Sock is getting stronger and more dangerous. <sighs> Uh, yeah, with like every unit kill now could pretty much decide the game. Mountain King is probably coming soon. Yep, there's the lumber for it. Double towers up as well. Super defensive position, even though he doesn't really need it, I'd say. Militia called. That is a solid timing to prevent the Sanctums. But Fly knows he's under a lot of pressure and needs to get the job done now. Yeah, like that sock is uh, really on the money here. Good tower uh, timing here on the guard towers. And also very quickly calling the militia, pulling the back when they hurt. And he's got the shop perfectly ready to heal them up with the region score right away. Damn, Sock's play is looking so, so good. And he wanted to call the militia so early because he didn't want to allow the MK getting cancelled. The mass raiders can normally take out the altar very easily if there's an opening given. And the opening might still be there. MK still a few seconds off, and Fly is getting an important cancel, I think, on this MK. Has to get this cancel. Has to get this cancel, and he will. But it cost him two raiders, and a lot of health. And a lot of health, and he sends them back in. Not perfect, maybe just to get the end snares in. Trying to get some footmen off to limit the fighting power. Oh boy. Nice to see him still utilizing these raiders for the end snares, but he's playing with fire and with fly that oftentimes goes wrong. Not this time, though. Needs a lot of healed selves. Fountain is not accessible during daytime. And... We have a bit of a calm moment now, but Sock with the two bases and fly not with overwhelming heroes or army. And Fly is considering, can I go to the fountain? Can I creep this with low HP? Of course, he would love to get there, get the items, get the XP, and get the healing in. But he knows that Sock might be hot on his heels. If there was an MK for Sock, I'm sure he would be chasing right now. But the MK was cancelled, so Fly has some time. And Fly is creeping the middle fountain in this game. I wonder what that could be. <laughs> okay, I'm surprised. Uh, that he's risking this, but of course he knows there's no Mountain King, there's no threat to it. And that's of course two gigantic consumables. He was quite lucky with those mana potions before. Could get one here, or a stone of course. We get this spell now against the water elementals. S killing that altar, save Fly's game, and get an Ankh, uh, probably the best item if your name is Fly. Upgrades coming in as well, Kodos. And he's back at 50, like, I don't necessarily hate Fly's position, but he's got to do something about that second base. Yeah, so, uh, according to prophetic knowledge, Fly has won this game, right? You he cut the middle fan. Game over? I don't know why Sok is still in. I mean, he's got an expansion, he's got a level 4, he's got the MK creeping, but we should all know this game is over. So... Are you making fun time. of the rule of Lost Temple? An established rule for 21 years? Well, it wasn't just a rule, it was it was a certainty it almost sounded like uh, from from your mouth. Okay, this is almost blasphemous. This is, uh, you know it's gonna happen. But I get two heal scrolls on Sock, that's pretty good. Heal Ward as well. A sub from the legend himself, Chumpesk. 78 months already, man. Champesk knows who wins the fountain, wins the map. So, uh, yeah, fly, please, 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 please win that map. 
I mean, it's a win-win for you. If Fly wins this game, then you're like, you see? And if he loses, you're like, this game never happened. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I, I got a very selective memory that is correct, but I would never forget Zimmerling, who also subbed 16 months. Go, go, Orc! The problem, of course, with Fly is here, it has a very one-sided army. It's only raiders. Almost two grunts, one Kodo, and without casters, without dispel against the mass slow, that is normally a doomed mission. At the moment, though, Sox army is still pretty small. This could be overpowered by heroes with wolves, with chain wave. This human army could fall because Sox is being quite greedy, I guess. Not going into upkeep for a long time, instead, he's plastering the map with scout farms. <laughs> that is indeed interesting. I guess he's expecting big raider plays and ambushes and he needs something cheap, but yeah, scout farms. I mean, Carson always says, who's coming back tonight, by the way, uh, fix farms and farms are super OP. Yeah, they're so cheap and they scout all over the place, dude. What's that about? That's right. So Sock will see Fly approaching in case there's no Zeppelin. That could be a way around. Attempting a little bit of a push into Fly's base, but that... Doesn't really work thanks to a town portal. Two heal scrolls on both sides. Are we getting AoE meta again? Yeah, this would have been the best fight that Fly could have hoped for. But smart TP out by Sock. He realizes he's not quite fight ready yet. It's a one for one trade on TPs and one priest versus one raider. Good scout here also with a footy. Sees the Great Hawk coming up at the moment. And now Sock is pumping. 63 supply. In one or two minutes, he's going to be at 80. And then it's going to be quite difficult to take on this human army. Except if he can get some hero kills he like he did in the game before while keeping his own heroes safe. He's well equipped in the consumable department, getting a red spot now. That one footman shouldn't be able to kill the counter expansion, but Fly needs time. How to get that? Captain America helmet, not bad for a TC. Slakor with the 38 month, not bad as well. Also saying go go orcs. But this is Sock with higher levels now. Mountain King working on some progress. Same for the Archmage. Quite exciting where this is going to go. Yeah, I think the only chance for Fly here, since he has such a limited army, you know, with mass raiders, is hero levels. We saw the hero levels really take over on last uh, on Titaners when he got double level 5. That really is insane damage. He needs that again. He needs to take a favorable fight, get lots of kills, get out somewhat clean, and get those level fives. <sighs> another ex... wait. Ah, the bottom left is a farm by Sock, right? I thought, okay, he's working maybe on another expansion. Flying on a forest to TP home. Of course, that is one big advantage for the Orc here in the ultra late game. His mobility is way superior. With a level 2 Endurance Aura, he's going to be much faster. This human army is very strong at fighting, but slow across the map. Unless perhaps we get level 6 Archmage for the ult. That would be far away indeed. And now Fly has bought time for the expansion. And this game is still on, even in supply. Three claws, kind of nice. Wonder if Sok will switch to Blizzard when there's so many raiders on the ground. Five of them. Good upgrades. We see a Witch Doctor, which is basically the Orc equivalent to the Scout Farms. Attack upgrade number two. Yeah, we are getting ready for probably a lengthy game. More shop. Is that Heal Scroll number three? Is it available? No, Town Portal rather. Well, let's go. Let's brawl. So it would be ready to take the fight in his main base. There he can make use of lots of advantages. Slow catches the orc army. Finally there's this spell from the shaman, but only on a single target. Speed scroll and boost out. Fly still hasn't been able to take that favorable fight to get the kills. Fly needs the kills to get the level ups. He's harassing bottom right. That reduces income. Nobody's really... Really confident, I feel. 
Nobody thinks that they have a win condition established yet. And there's so much more room on this map. But Sock now. Okay. Is that it? Invis Potion on the Mountain King. Good to see the ward seal with the gyrocopters, but Fly also yeah. sees him coming. Can maneuver into position, but Fly, despite seeing Sock on the map, decides to go for a rad spot. He's got the TP. He could TP to the expansion if necessary. And he's going to go for the big item here. Got to be honest, I still don't know all the drops here. The annoying thing is, many of the summons, I think all of the summons, are just dispellable. So, especially against Purge, really bad. Maybe against Priests can work out a bit better. All right, <laughs> big consumable, baby, let's go. Okie dokie. Let's see where this goes. Uh, it doesn't even have an inventory slot at the moment. Gyros find him, but Sock is going for the throat. What's the item? We don't know yet. Pick it up. He has a slot. Okay, now he has a slot. Doom guard. Okay. Could be a second storm. Shouldn't be a Living fight though, I don't... Sock is crazy though. All the casters and rifles are perfectly protected in the back. And the rest of the orc army can't really get to him. But the Archmage, he's out of position. He is too far up front. Invis trying to save him. There might be vision though. There is sentry wards, I think. And the AM is still getting targeted. Archmage very hurt now. Has to oh! Out. No, he doesn't! Oh, Sock loses the first hero. And with that, might lose everything else. He has the TP, was on the Archmage, he didn't use it. Oh my god, Sock Fly is cleaning oh, everything what? up now. The Doom God, as I said, still has the Stomp. He's going for the Mountain King. There's an Invo Potion, but he can double Stomp. Oh, uh, uh, there's, it's, it's Sock Wave, it's not double Stomp. Archmage is back from the Tavern, but that is crazy losses for Sock. 3,500 gold in value wiped of Sock's account. And who's making fun of the Lost Temple Fountain rule now, Remo Demo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Oh, I was waiting for yeah? it. Yeah? Yeah? waiting for huh? it. Yeah, Fly, now with an insane lead. And the most annoying thing for Sock is he didn't even get many kills. He didn't really get close to level 5. Maybe he's just been creeping out on the map. Go for the red camp himself, but you know, that's easy to say in the end, after the fact. Hindsight is, after all, 2020. Now we got both Orc heroes on 5.5. Damn, dude, they got a lot of experience. <laughs> Earthquake might even be good in a game like this, if the Mountain King is on the opposite side. Man, what a glorious Lost Temple game this is. Exactly as we envision it. Double Invis heroes now on the way to the right hand side but fly he cleaned that island bottom right for a reason and that reason is yet another base yeah fly such a hugely terrifying army the heroes are now finally at the amazing double level five so i was trying to buy time right here with this harass even the peon dodges the storm ball man everything is working out for fly Thank you, Murder, for the 27 month reset. There's another attack towards the bottom left. And it's not looking great for Sock indeed. He had such a phenomenal early game. But then Fly clawed back again with good fights. Always saw the win condition. He's not really under that much. Uh, stress time wise it's only a burrow it's only a handful of peons the second base second second base is also called third base is growing and main bases are about to expire soon yeah, i think this is the right call here by fly he's just gonna give this one up and get ready for the big fight because he should be favored he's got two levels advantage and he might get double level six here soon but this is in Sock's backyard, he's fighting at home, he's got water teams now. That helps against the castles, of course, this Doom God, man, how long does this Doom God last, by the way? He's been there two fights ago, Rain of Fire could be a nice solution to this Militia Call, Fly resetting the position a little bit, couple of units bend and bruise, but we do have heal scrolls, Chain Lightning rattling through for yet another 1000 damage, Shockwave into the backline. Doomguard has disappeared, alright, but Fly still 
Huge supply lead. Great heroes. Level 6 now. The clap is sweet, but Mountain King is no level 5. And with that, he's not competitive. Yes, I've got basically no items. No mana potions, no invo potions, no heal scrolls. And Fly is just ravaging through this human army. Mana potion now on the MK, but he's lacking the levels, man. He's lacking the level 5. Oh my god, the chain wave is just doing unbelievable amounts of damage. Fly losing quite a bit here himself, but he's getting so many kills in return. Yeah, it was uh, Mountain King Clap once again being incredibly efficient. But Fly retreating now, back to the fountain. Expo bottom right, I'm not even sure if that one scouted. Main base, soon to be empty. I think it's only still up because of the militia call. Man, Fly. When I saw the lineup for the March tournament, I did not expect him in a position where he can take the lead in the lower bracket round two against Sock. But yeah, in, in stellar shape. We got a quick glimpse there of the human main once again. It was an absolute slaughter. Sock would love to creep just one more camp, get another item. He's so low on items, by the way. No invul, no heal scroll, still. MK has some good items, at least. Ring and the Ancient Django. Sark's gonna be scouted here if he goes up the hill. There's a Sentry Ward there. Seen by the Gyro. But it's all about getting that level 5 now. And it's also a lot about gold right now. Gold left in the mines. Of course, for flights, there's plenty. He's got the corner expansion. Sark only has 2,000 roundabout gold left in his bases. <sighs> How do you fight back? And it has to go through the Mountain King. Sock's win condition is online with that level 5 now. No heal scroll on Fly, that's a bit dangerous, but no heal scroll on the other side either. Sock doesn't really want to fight here, of course, gets out. Still with two breakers gone. Kodo also devouring a third one. And Fly can pretty much lean back and let his expansion do the work. Yeah, the gyro should be scouting it sooner or later, but that is literally the opposite side of the map. So difficult for Sock to get there. I wonder if Sock should have, instead of trying to go for a third base and attack, maybe he should have just gone tier 3 and get the tier 3 upgrades. Faster upgrades on tier 3, very strong. Since he was kind of stuck for a while, maybe he could have made use of that time. I have seen it before on rare occasions, but that ship has now sailed. Sock's resources are not really a plenty anymore. Staying at 50 supply now. Mostly breakers, putting all his trust in the Mountain King. 1500 gold left in his expansion. That's all he got. So comfortable for Fly. He was healing up at the fountain as well. Got an Ankh on the hero, the ring on the TC, as you like to mention. And disable against the Mountain King. Plenty of that. That the last fight of the game. Open field. Okay, getting targeted, locked down here. He's taking so much damage already. Oh my god, dude. Chain wave here doing huge amounts. MK almost dead. Seven seconds, and then he's gonna be vulnerable once again. Fly is looking for the kill, he's looking for the execute. Chain wave. Oh, and all the <laughs> casters are instantly gone. Dude, how this game turned around. Double level five on the orc heroes. Never underestimate that. And Sock has to tap out. You know what you also shouldn't underestimate ever again, Mr. Remo Demo? <laughs> Uh, how are you enjoying this right now? Oh, uh, a lot this right now. You were making so much fun of the fountain <laughs> rule on Lost Temple. I never doubted for a second. It doesn't matter how bad your early game is. It doesn't matter if uh, nothing matters. Nothing matters. But who gets the fountain gets the win. The age-old oh. Lost Temple rule. Fountain Bros, rise! I'm looking forward to the next Lost Temple game. I don't uh, know what you're talking about. I can't wait. I can't wait for that one. Well, it's not going to be part of this series. That's for sure. And yeah, Fly takes the lead going down the first map. This is a great series, man. Going back and forth and 
Oftentimes when we have a 3 to 2 series, it's uh, close in terms of results, but the games can be pretty one-sided at times. But here, every game was close, right? Every game was back and going back and forth, some slight mistakes leading to one player getting the lead. And this is really a match made in heaven right now. I was underestimating Fly coming into the today. I will admit this freely. Sock notices that he has a very formidable orc opponent here today. I totally agree. Um, much respect for Fly to see the win condition and to maneuver himself in a position where he was able to take down that altar. Because for me, that was the crucial moment of this game. Like, the Mountain King being delayed by so much took all the wind out of Sock's sail, despite that expo, despite good Archmage progress, and despite three grunt losses in the early game. Dude, since Fly took this little break and stepped out of the room, five stars, man. Just fuming. And we have match points for the Ancient Legend. Sock fa facing elimination now. Yeah, on paper, that really was an insane comeback, dude. Three grunt kills early game. Fast level three Archmage. MK comes out. The Raider threat was basically not a thing on tier two, despite double beast theory. And Fly still somehow makes it work. I think Sock made a pretty big uh, strategic mistake late game. I think he should have either just tried to creep level five uh, and ignore the orc expansion since it was so far away, or tried to go tier three. The game was pretty slow. He could have afforded it, but I guess it is a rare thing to go for. Well, now we're going to go to map four. Fly could close it out here if he wins now on Twisted Meadows. This is going to be cross spawn guaranteed. Of course, this is now the case on Twisted Meadows these days. And obviously, it's going to be a Farseer versus Archmage. All righty. Here we go. No Mountain King openers anymore. Sock, he is still alive in the two and two, but um, his ally, Lawlight, was eliminated yesterday. He could share that faith and then could probably focus on the two and two, where he will be facing Fly again on the right uh, on the side with Infi. But first, we got to settle this. Can you take three maps in a row versus Sock? I wouldn't mind to see game five, everybody. Yeah, this uh, would certainly be a treat. The first three games have been really deliberate. This uh, is some highly entertaining Warcraft action. Let's see where the road goes on this map here. Seems like MK is pretty popular on on this map, on Twisted Meadows, but Sock not going for it. He's going to go for Archmage first. MK, by the way, the only successful strat so far. MK first, that was. Sorry, what did you say? MK the only vibe was the only map. Yeah, 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 that's right. But uh, maybe some timing attacks. All games went late game. Sock couldn't close it out earlier. Maybe heavier pushes, but he also tried that on Tight Hunters already, and it didn't really work. Fly super prepared, and Sock is losing two peasants here. Where did the uh, other one go? I only saw one going down. One was denied also on the right hand side. Ah, by the creeps? Yep. I guess. Two peasants fall, but no XP for the Farseer. AM got the level 2, got the big item. It's not the best item for the AM. I think it kind of helps, though. It yeah. makes him harder to chip away at at the very start of the game. And for MK second later, it is really good. Um, question is, will this be a fast expansion once again? So I've tried this plenty of times, but now Fly will be ready right away to put the pressure on. Good harass, no experience on Fly himself, but at least delays the tech a little bit, delays lumber income a little bit. This is what the early game is all about. Headhunters trickling in. Archmage got the level 2 eventually, so mana isn't really an issue at the moment. And yeah, he's trying, trying to distance himself a little bit from Fly's harass, and I guess that's working. Fly can't find him here. Wait, he's going... Ah, wait. Can, he just wants to steal a Shadow Priest, right? I think he would like to creep it. And now the question is, who's going to be creep checking who? The headhunter finds the footman. That's a big uh, piece of information here. Sock was trying to hide them and creep with them when they're unseen. He's going for defend right now, but 
Good movement by Fly, good scouting. Not allowing this AM this AM to get the three too easily. Wow. Pretty impressed with Fly here. B scroll, little bit of HP, never bad. Especially that B scroll in the early fights could help a ton. On headhunters, that is. We get spike barricades, so yeah, Fly. Very much convinced that these footmen will end up in his base and at his burrows. Stock taking two green cans at the same time. The AM down here and the militia up north. Is it enough for level three? Important question. I think he's lacking a bit, right? Ah, oh, no, it's perfect. It is perfectly enough. Militia, we're ready you to creep one more creep complete. at the lab for level three. And there we go. This is the big level up timing. The fly is getting ready. He's been leveling his level two. Now he's got the scroll, as you mentioned, and he also has one shadow priest for a bit of this. <laughs> Didn't we talk about overused memes earlier in this cast? Now you're coming up with this. Huh? It's the most beautiful meme ever, Neil. It is like no other. Berserker even for stock. Ooh, that's a lot of pressure. If he goes for a beast master here, this is a scary early tier two timing. That is certainly going to find some cancers in the main base. That position of the beastery is not ideal. Beastmaster was, of course, uh, Sock's play for a long time. Was kind of the only one playing it, and you called it, my dude. Beastmaster it is. Sock trying to end the game now. Bash bear as well, maybe. Nisha is ready. We'd love to see the belt and the ring given to the Beastmaster. It would make him very difficult to bring down. And this one-shot priest can't keep up with all the dispel needed against all these summons. He gets it on the bear, but that means the next watch element will, will be ready to chuck. And yeah, the bear will be ready in a bit as well. Oh, sweet little beastery position, but if the beastmaster finds the beastery, he's just gonna clobber it down. Oh, that burrow! Chain lightning trying to get hits in, it's so close! Oh Hold what by fly! Expired, by the way. It just oh, expired. No. Oh, dude, that was so close. But there's another bear, another elemental ready in just a moment. Fassi, I gotta be careful. Need some access. And now he found that beastery. Ooh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Can he stop that? He needs to get something done here. If he doesn't get the beastery, he should. He must. It's he is. hard for the beastery. He lost basically all the footmen here. Got the beastery in the end, but I think Fly was the one getting more kills. But there's still more summons. The next bash bear is ready in just a bit. Oh, and this is... Bloody exchange over here. Yeah. Get more headhunters going down. As was the case in the entire series. Fly still holding on to that scroll of the beast. Bears are of course giving quite some XP. Shaman are coming in. And that Beastmaster only down at 50%. He's relatively sturdy. But can't stay here forever. And I think Sock didn't accomplish as much as he wanted to. So he's coming back for round two. And the question is, what is the assassin profession of Nishian? I'll never know. Castles are not coming. Priests are in production. Archmage going deep, by the way. Uh oh. Has to TP out. That seemed like a bit of a waste, maybe. Then again, though, he gets home quickly. I don't think there's a shop. Question is, what will the follow up be for Sock? Ideally, as the human, you love to take a lead with this push, kill so much of the human, of the orc, excuse me, that you uh, can expand it on tier two. But I don't think Sock is necessarily in strong enough of a position for that. Hmm. No TP if he's getting caught with a stomp. That's dangerous. Fly was able to get the beastery up and also the hut. So lumber is an issue now, but should be able to recover from there. Moving out towards the middle, both are going for the shops as heal scroll invo potions are becoming more important. But we talked about the late game. Fly already had the upper hand in late games when he had uh, when he was facing a mountain king. Now he's facing a beast master, which is not the craziest late game hero. Yeah, not really. Unless he gets level 5, the Blink Bash Bear is insane in many ways, but that seems rather unlikely at the moment. At least on this map, Sark is going to have a shop close to his main, so he should be able to get heal scrolls more reliably. Both now have one heal scroll, but Fly is on the warpath. His entire army is moving towards the enemy position. Might be able to intercept some militia right here. Or here, getting surrounded, but that is a trap. Okay, Chain Lightning gets the way out. Plus a speed scroll. Ooh, mass murder. Sweet way 
of leveling when you're not interested in the creep camps. You can easily recover now. Gotta be... I don't even have to be that careful with the fast air anymore. No Stormbolt. No nuke at all. Well, the Beastmaster is extremely tanky, but the tank items for him. <laughs> with the two belts, anti-evasion. Sock made a pretty big micro mistake, though. When he was creeping, the priests weren't target healing the Beastmaster. They were just on a click heal, so they were healing militia and water elementals. So the Beastmaster now is very hurt. Imagine if it was full HP. He would be so tough to bring down. And of course, there's no TP on Sock anymore. Calling militia again. Somehow he still has some. Okay, maybe that's the gold ones. I don't know. Gets a couple of priests. It's all about the casters. Shaman in the back. Got the last little purge out. What a weird fight this is now. Lots of summons. TC level 3. Fly has a huge supply lead. AM getting stomped, almost getting surrounded. He is trapped, and this oh. could be the end for him. Invis saves him, but only for a second because there is a dust, and the AM is dead. The, uh, the Beastmaster might be second, also getting surrounded. All the Invul might save him, or perhaps it won't. He's holding the surround here on hold position, and Fly about to do it three maps in a row with a perfect stomp towards the end. He gets the upset. Fly with the victory. Dude! Three and one against the second best human in the world. Look at that beautiful, handsome man smiling from ear to ear. I was mocking him a little bit like, yeah, group stage win in the round of 16. It was relatively easy group, you know, he'll go down, but uh, 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 fly ain't going down. Sick, sick, sick tournament. Of course, uh, saves him some money if you can pay the prize money to yourself, but... I did not expect Sock to get to lose three maps in a row here. This was not the Sock we're used to seeing, and I think the biggest winner, next to Fly, of course, is happy because he won't face Sock in the lower bracket now. Yeah, absolutely. Sock making a lot of right calls as well, playing a decent game, but making some big mistakes, especially with hero kills every now and then. And I think he may want to orient himself more again towards MK first. I think on the right map, also like TM, I think MK first can be much more of a threat than the AM. It seems like the AM, especially with Shaman being a thing, uh, is something that falls off so hard. But 